Hello, this is David with Sturgeon Technology Solutions. This video will be a tutorial for the inventory role within our Esther environment. The role of inventory applies to those that are inventorying received pallets by creating device level records we call esters. The inventory role also determines whether the device records go to the testing phase or are recycled. Upon logging into Esther, you are presented with the inventory search view. Here you can scan the pallet ID listed on the pallet label attached to the pallet during the receiving process. By clicking the drop down, you can also search for the tracking number if needed. Once you have entered a value, click the search button. The search button brings you to the Esther creation view. Across the top, you can find useful information about the account the ester is being created for, and any specific instructions that need to take place during the inventory process. Once you have verified the inventory instructions, you can begin completing the form. In the warehouse location, enter the current warehouse you are in. If bin location or toad ID are applicable, select those as well. Select the manufacturer and device type. Enter a description of the device and the manufacturer part number. If the item is serialized, enter the serial number. If it is not, enter the quantity. If a serial number is entered, the quantity is auto set to 1. If the quantity is greater than 1, the serial is set to NA. Enter the asset tag if the device has one present. You can enter a comment about a device if needed and can check redeploy if it is applicable to this record. The duplicate checkbox can be selected if you have multiple serialized devices of the same type where all that needs changing is a serial number. Once the form is complete, you can hit test to assign the ester record to be tested or recycled depending on the project this device is for. If this device needs to be tested, Click the test button. The test button will bring you to the print label view. Click the print button to print the label and affix the label to the device. Once the label is attached, click on the inventory button to return to the Esther creation view. If this device needs to be recycled, click the recycle button. The recycle button will bring you to the fail view for the device. Here, you will need to select a failure code for the device and a transfer status that indicates where the device is going. Once both have been selected, click the Save button. Once all the devices on the pallet have been inventoried, click the Close Pallet button to move on to a new pallet. This concludes the inventory tutorial. Thank you for your time and have a good day.